Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Do you remember the last time you had to reinstall Windows? Sure you do. You went to the box that your computer first came in and you looked for a restore CD, only to find out it wasn't there. That's because a few years ago, OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, decided not to ship restore CDs. Now this was a question that was asked by JJ, a member at large of our community at live.perillo.com. says, hey, anybody know why Microsoft uh, on supply a hard disk image of your operating system these days and not a reloaded DVD? Okay, guys. I really I know it's chat and IRC and everything, but I I really have to teach you how to construct complete sentences or at least grammatically correct sentences. I love you, but I, I my degree is in English education. I should be teaching you about nouns and verbs and how to structure sentences correctly. Regardless, I'll calm down. I'm calming down. Why did they decide to do this? Well, for a lot of reasons. One, it certainly is cheaper. I mean, granted, a CD or DVD isn't all that expensive, but not having to deal with removable media at all is still cheaper than not doing it in the first place. But I think more to the point, and the reason behind this, and I don't know if it was necessarily Microsoft who mandated this or if it was something uh, that uh, the manufacturers decided to do, and of course people like Dell and HP, Lenovo, so on and so forth, these are the manufacturers we're talking about. Uh, I would believe uh, that it was due to privacy or uh, the fact, not privacy, piracy. God, I'm all, now who's screwing up the grammar now? Uh, I, I, I believe that uh, manufacturers, when you buy one of their systems, uh, they want to make sure that the operating system that you bought stays with that system, so it's licensed specifically for that system, or they've possibly customized the build so that when you hit the restore uh, button, all the drivers are already installed, all the software is restored back to its original state, and you simply cannot do that with a lot of those classic restore CDs, or you could, it was just kind of clunky. Uh, so it could have been because of piracy. They didn't want you to uh, give the disc out to anybody else. They didn't want you to use that disc on any other machines. Or I am more inclined to believe uh, it was just because of ease of use. Uh, there are certainly systems that still may ship with restored DVDs and CDs, but the software is just incredibly clunky. And it's far easier to go from a disc image or a part of your hard drive is hidden when you get the computer. Uh, and when you need to restore, you know, back to its original condition, uh, you do whatever that manufacturer says you do, press a button, uh, click something, or press a, a, a key when you, your computer starts up to restore it back to uh, it, its original state when it originally shipped to you, and then by doing that, the rest of the process should be relatively automated because they will have customized everything in the reinstallation so that you don't have to do anything. And it used to be very clunky. You'd have to reinstall the operating system, then you'd have to go download the drivers. If you could even download the drivers, if it didn't already come with the CDs, you'd have to put the CDs in. You'd have, it was a pain. It was a real big pain in the neck. Unfortunately, I, I'm more like JJ, I think. I'd much appreciate, uh, much more appreciate having a CD or a DVD as a restore disc rather than having uh, something from a disc image uh, or a part on the hard drive that was partitioned, uh, hidden from the regular operating environment quite possibly, but still there taking up space. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just more of a hands-on kind of guy, and uh, I, I also would like to hold on to a license for an operating system uh, beyond uh, the usefulness of a computer. For instance, my old ThinkPad, it still works, but it's not as fast as other systems that I have here. Uh, it didn't come with a restore disk. So even though I bought a copy of Windows, I'm never going to be able to really take advantage of it again, necessarily. Uh, now, the good news is is that uh, I do at least have the activation code. It was stamped or I guess uh, stickered to the bottom of the laptop, so I can still use that and just tell Microsoft, well, I'm no longer using this laptop. I've got, I've officially purchased a license here. Uh, I just want to use it on a different one because, of course, six years after XP is released, it still is the best copy of Windows that's floating around uh, for consumers. And I say this after Vista has been around for a, l a little less than a year. Not the only one who says that either. Jim Louderback, I don't know if you caught this, is. Uh, 
kind of tired of Vista. He's thinking of switching to Linux. Uh, of course, Jim Alchin got quoted back earlier in January stating that if he didn't work for Microsoft, he would buy uh, OS X. He'd buy an Apple computer. Uh, I, I kid you not, this is completely on record. Uh, then uh, who else has been switching away from that platform? Oh, Joe Spolsky, one of the world's leading software developers, is completely frustrated uh, with the way uh, Microsoft is going with uh, Windows Vista and, you know, everything down that path. Anyway, I, I realize that has nothing to do specifically with JJ's question, but it, it does raise interesting uh, points about operating systems and what you purchase when you purchase a computer. Uh, if you'd rather buy a computer and make sure that you, you the license is transferable when you decide to leave that computer behind, you've already purchased that license for that software. You should be able to use it indefinitely, right? In theory, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment, follow up, remark, whatnot, or of course, swing by the chat room. Let me know. What do you think? Uh, did your computer come with a restore disk? And if so, who made it? And how long ago did you get it? And where could I get one? Well, I, I it may not even be available anymore. I'm just saying, uh, trying to get you guys to come in here every once in a while. Be a community member at large. Be like JJ. Just drop in, ask a random question, and then disappear. That's what most of you do. It's okay. We'll still take you. We're chatting live all the time, day or night, at two URLs that go to the same place, chris.perlo.com forward slash live, or it's easier to say and it's easier to type, live.perlo.com. We'll see you later. Right? <laughs>